So overall, that's what I'm feeling here. And I do sense we have here the Prince of Cups. This is going to be your energy. And uh, the first thing that comes into me is this is like you're going to be called upon to lend a, a shoulder to cry on, to lend a willing a helping hand, or to lend a, an ear to somebody's um, problems. And I do feel that you're coming to this, you're doing this gladly. I don't feel that there's any resentment from your end about having to like um, be there for somebody. But I do feel it's somebody within your family unit, and I do sense there's a lot of communication. So you're either physically there, or you are there like over the phone talking to them if you're long distance from family members. But there's going to be possibly hearing about, you know, health, hearing about financial issues, or hearing about possibly having your parents, um, you know, purchase another property, or hearing somebody that you grew up with that you consider family purchasing property. So there's going to be a lot of communications within the family unit. They might ask you for your advice. And I feel for some of you, and this is um, a very specific message, Someone might be wanting to purchase a property and their credit is not looking great. So they might ask somebody else to be like the um the the you know the person to 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 buy the property. So that's what I'm feeling. Somebody's credit score is not that great. They have the money, but they don't have the work history to take out a mortgage. So someone else might do it in their place, in their stead in, in and I feel like there's a discussion here, and I feel like you might be the one to lend a helping hand, okay? And you're not doing it begrudgingly, but you're also a little bit nervous about it. Um, I do feel they're trustworthy. I do sense that about them. So, you know, do as you, you will, but I do sense, like, um, you want to ask questions about why the other person's... Um, credit history is a little bit shaky first and you know like a lot of the times you you, ha you guys have a very very good giving heart and you might just uh, rush in you know if it's family no problem I'll do it but you might want to ask like what's in your credit history that's a little bit you know um, problematic for the credit bureau and for the mortgage people so like you want to ask these questions first and I want you to know that it is within your power to say yes or no don't feel obligated okay because um, like I said the other person has money so they, they can find another person they can find another way to do it but I feel like they're relying on you because they trust you so whenever someone asks us a favor right it is within our power to either accept or reject right so don't feel obligated, okay? Don't feel like you have to do anything, all right? So um, doing a little bit more digging, that would actually um, appease your worries, all right? Um, so the next card here is finance-related once again. And I do feel this is like the financial issue affecting the emotional state, okay? There's this um, emotional up and down with you, and it con concerns travel. Having to travel a lot, possibly um, planning travel, and feeling your money, like your financial resources, dwindling as a result. So I do see actually a lot of movement with you, a lot of friends to see, a lot of people to meet, and um, even a lot of clients to take out, okay? And I do sense that um, it's really important for you to keep all the receipts, keep everything so that you are getting properly compensated. I feel a lot of expenditures coming out this month. And uh, there might be like a one month, two month gap before you are being reimbursed. So make sure you keep everything, receipts and items and, you know, like tra economic transactions for clients so that you can keep them for like at least two months before you can get reimbursed. I do feel some snags along the way if you're looking for reimbursement. If you're looking for money to come from a uh, an institution, so that could be if you're working for the government and you get your paycheck, if you're working for um, if you're looking for loans, mortgage, and things like that, I do feel there are going to be communication that might delay the situation. It doesn't mean that it's gonna not going to happen at all, but I do feel there will be delays because someone is like um, looking over some documents with a microscope, and I feel that it's going to take them a while to sort things out and to approve you okay so you might need to call back and double check you might need to call back and follow up on with them when it comes to the financial um, payout that's supposed to come from a big institution all right in terms of your advice here's what I'm sensing 
We do have the Five of Pentacles, which is a, a problematic card when it concerns finances and money and assets, okay? So this is joint assets dealing that is linking you up with another person. Sometimes the situation is a little bit difficult to extract and extract yourself from. And so be very, very careful about... Um, not letting financial considerations keep you in an environment where you're not feeling happy, where you feel very stuck and stagnant. So you need to go out into the world to create the financial security that for yourself in order to achieve the life that you want. So don't let financial considerations that's to link you up with another person and to really restrict your movement, okay? This is also a very, very good card in which two people actually, you know, especially in love, but I'm not doing the love reading just yet, but the alternative um, explanation here is that I do feel that you're going to come back into contact with another person. And there is almost a sense of like... Um, having a karmic tie, having sharing a past life together. And I do feel there's this really beautiful energy about two people who are going to rough it out with each other through thick and thin. And uh, no matter what life throws at them, they have faith in one another and they're going to be by each other's side. So I feel like you have somebody like that in your life where you can always come to and you are realizing the importance that uh, the major role that this person has played in your life and you know that no matter what, after like, even like if you haven't seen each other for three years, you can pretty much pick up where you left off. So this is a really, really deep rooted either business partnership or friendship or someone from your family family that you really care for. They might have come um, upon some hard times and they might want, you know, like a shoulder to, to lean on. And I do feel um, you're going to be the sounding board. You're going to be the person that they come to. Okay. So we also have here the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Wands is a fire energy. This is a very easily, um, it's an exciting, a very attractive, exciting person. And there's a lot of movement associated with this person. For some of you, this is your energy where you are basically um, overcoming, okay? And I do say overcoming because the finances looks very good for you guys. You're moving away from it. You're moving from a away from a place of financial poverty, spiritual poverty, and even like emotional poverty. You're in a really good emotional space for this month. And a lot of you are taking risks to free yourself from situations that have been um, kind of like they're, they're stable, definitely stable, but they were not optimal for you. And you're moving away from it and you're looking for new energies. And in terms of the advice, that's what they're telling you to do. In order to break away though, you are going to have to take risks, okay? And I do feel once again, we have a whole move. The Ten of Wands usually means picking up the pieces and moving on, okay? Um, it's a cumbersome process. It's, um, it's very mundane. It's very like tedious. No one really wants to do it, but I do feel the next phase of your life is going to be very exciting. So they really want you to downsize when it comes to uh, having a lot of clutter, having a lot of property, um, uh, having a lot of, um, I'm sorry, items, cluttering your physical home environment. So getting rid of them, donating them, making some type of like clearing when it comes to your emotional space and your physical space, that's going to be really important for you to do. So declutter your environment. It will help bring in new energy into your house, move some furniture around, shift some things to, you know, feng shui the house. And doing so would actually be a, a really good clearing process for your emotional state too. I do feel you're in uh, feeling very, very good emotionally, and you're feeling a lot of love and support finally coming through. So love, support, recognition, I feel, coming through from your home environment where your parents are like, um, family members are actually really proud of you, okay? So this is going to be a really good month. Um, be careful about overspending. That is all cancers. So let's go into your love relationships and romance and see what's going on. What is the overall theme for Cancer, September 2016? What is the challenge? Overall energy, five cards for the mirror spread.
and your advice. Okay, so Cancers, you've got a really, really, really good month, okay? All the cards up here are in the upright position. And the advice cards are in the reverse, but they're uh, serving as, a, as advice, and we'll go into them a little bit later. So let's talk about your overall energy. We do have the Page of Wands, which indicates a lot of good news, a lot of like... Um, people that are showing interest okay and they're doing it in a way where it's kind of like hey you know like um i saw you the other day and you gave a really good speech you know so it's like people giving compliments people giving like uh, a lot of accolades a lot of recognition and there's a lot of like admirers in your midst okay the page of wands is definitely messages but it's not like the page of cups where it's like hey do you want to go on a date it's more like I'm making myself known to you or I'm showing my interest, but what you decide to do is up to you. So I do feel a lot of people are leaving the ball in your court for this month. And I do feel that your public image, um, the way that you project yourself is not your usual self because you know, you're know you a water sign. And the energy you're bringing to the table here is the Page of Wands, which is you're easily excited. You're very enthusiastic. You have a lot of this, um, this kind of like... Uh, loving life quality about you and it's a light-hearted energy so there's going to be a lot of communication coming back and forth between you and other people I feel like other people a lot of people that will be interested in you and uh, when it comes to a specific partner there might be like um, some type of when it comes to specific partner I don't feel you're gonna have to push as hard to get the communication going or to get like you know this um, to get them to respond so this is indicative of a lot of rapid communication coming in between you and the people that you're seeing the people you're interested in or the people that you are dating or in a romantic relationship with okay what's showing up here as the challenge is the wheel of fortune and I feel that I'm reading this card based on the picture, okay, because that came in first. And because of the sheer amount of communication you're getting, I feel like you're doing this balancing act, okay? So you can see there are phases of the moon, and uh, there are a lot of balls that this person is juggling. Everything is up in the air, so the ball's in your court, and you can do as you, as you wish. So I definitely feel you're dealing with people who are a little bit shy, who are a little bit commitment phobic as well so on the one hand they're like hey I'm interested in you I just you know told you you smell nice I told you you look very beautiful and how you follow up with that is up to you I definitely feel the other person is interested but how you follow up with that is really up to you the boss in your court okay so I know you're most of you are very shy and like I said, you know, the, the crab, whenever you see one at the beach, they go sideways. Um, they don't directly go for the things that they want. They go sideways, backwards, and around the object of their affection. And I feel a lot of you are quite shy. And once you've been uh, burned, you tend to retreat back in your shell for self-protection, okay? So I definitely feel that you're not comfortable with initiating. You're not comfortable. Even men, I feel like cancers in general are just like... Um, are you know water signs are receptive and I feel that a lot of you are not comfortable taking the initiation um, in situations so I feel like on the one hand the other person has shown you that they're interested but I feel you sitting there and you feel uh, you you have this negative self-talk like did they say that because you know they're trying to be nice or did they really do they really like me well I think they really like you and I feel like they're they're shy themselves and they might come off confident, but I do feel they're quite shy. So in the process of ha leaving the ball in your court, it's, it's posing as a challenge for you because you have all these options and you don't know what to do. You don't really know how the talks and discussions are going to be um, airing on the legal side, which is, you know, um, a lot of you might have custody issues with an, uh, with an ex or with a current partner that you're trying to work out. I feel like it's with an ex, okay? If you have like a child with an ex or if you have like some legal custody issues, it's going to end up very favorably. There's going to be clear communication, which is like, um, I don't feel it's going to be um, 
conflictual. I do feel that it's harmonizing, and you're trying to decide, you know, like um, settle like custody or alimony or something like that as it pertains to a child. Um, that is going to be something that also gets in the way if you're trying to start a relationship as well because I feel like it's coming in in the relationship spread meaning this is something that you need to sort out first before you can successfully uh, get a relationship off the ground with another person okay so at the center once again we do have the chariot things are gonna go your way I do feel this is such a good month for you guys um, it does want you to take it slow but I do feel that you and another person are working together in a very harmonious manner to move things along and I feel like a lot of you um, you might have a an, you know you, you might have two options on the table here especially for singles I do feel a very passionate fire sign I do feel a little bit of a, a, a playful air sign okay especially if you're out there single and trying to date the fire sign seems to me like it's somebody who's very very solid so air sign, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra seems to me like they're very financially well off. And it seems to me like they are constantly on the go. Um, they might have escaped. I feel like literally they might have escaped from a really bad relationship. So they're very skeptical about who they're dating. Okay, So with this uh, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, they might have a lot of baggage from the past they're trying to overcome so they don't have that ready-made framework in order to date and I feel like you might like them but you it's hard to read it's hard to read their intentions it's hard to read their feelings it's hard to gauge how they feel about you so I feel like that's um that's that channel of communication will open up and I see for some of you that you might have started dating an air sign Aquarius Gemini and Libra and the relationship might be lacking in chemistry whereas if you're dating a fire sign everything is just like you know really hot and heavy um, but it's a little bit difficult to make your life converge right whereas with the air sign everything is already there like you're on the same path but the chemistry the the passion is a little bit lacking and I do feel this is gonna take off you know this passion if you're, you're looking for that it's gonna take off it's gonna be there I feel like it's already there but it takes them air signs take a while to open up whereas fire signs are a little bit more like wear their heart on their sleeves so I do feel it's gonna take some time okay so in terms of your advice what I have here is the hangman in the reverse position this is basically no longer putting ourselves in on hold no longer living a provisional life rather than um, doing that rather than like waiting for fate to kick in and to you know throw somebody your way or throw something on your lap I feel that a lot of you are taking charge of this situation and a lot of you are moving ahead and going out there and seeking what your heart desires I feel a lot of you are taking risks this month and if you are great for you because I do sense you're gonna win you've got some big big uh, things here that indicates you know even if the this object of your affection is surrounded by uh, a lot of attractive um, desirable candidates that are vying for their love and their affection I do sense that you're gonna stand out okay so go for it don't wait any longer um, in terms of the past energy here I do have the star card in the reverse so I feel like especially for those of you who have been in like um, bad relationships or that that was you know long-standing but very toxic and you recently extracted yourself you took some time off to do some healing I do feel that you might encounter some people who are a little bit wounded okay so I feel like especially with this air sign there's a lot of baggage I feel that they're still dealing with and they're very on guard and they're still not they're interested I do sense they're interested but I feel like they're not yet 100 percent ready to recommit like 100 percent mainly because I feel that they're gonna need to take it slow they're gonna need you to prove to them that you are honest and trustworthy before they give you their heart so I feel like this um, they're erring on the side of caution okay so it's gonna take some time to open them up and I feel like it's because they've been through a major major like um, they might have been cheated on they might have been lied to and they're very like I feel like they're a little bit broken okay so if some things are lacking in your relationship you wanna really understand how and why and 
we're talking about, you know, doing some additional research, researching into a, a person here with the hermit card, and especially they're saying that if someone has like pretty much um, done things that were not, um, so let's just say, for example, if you're dating somebody, right? And um, they're, let's just say they're a divorcee and they cheated on their spouse. You, you want to be really careful because I do feel patterns repeat, right? So you want to be very careful about who you get yourself involved with. If they, ha they have a history of cheating, if they are constantly surrounded by friends who have a tendency to cheat, just be very careful that it doesn't become their new normal. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? And I hope you understand. Um, people do change, I do feel. Like, people change, they learn from mistakes, and they try their best to move on. But I don't feel like true change and transformation um, can happen until people hit rock bottom. I do sense that. So it takes massive, massive amounts of energy, massive and massive amounts of um, circumstances um, for people to change. So if you, like, immediately are getting involved with someone and they have a history of like either lying or cheating from their past not with you but from their past you want to approach it very very slowly and you want to ask these questions about you know how have you changed like what made you change you know was it like getting caught or was it because on a fundamental level you've changed because people will talk the talk but when it comes down to it when the temptation present themselves in the future they most likely will resort to, you know, learn or familiar habits. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Just be very careful. Take things slow. You have a lot of suitors, but they're telling you, like, you, you might jump the gun. You might not take adequate time to get to know who you're dating. So that's the only dangers I'm feeling for you, Cancers. But I do sense there's a lot of suitors. Appointment for yourself. The information is located in, below in the description box. And I've also... Um, I also added a link there for my donation page, and if you use the link, I'd appreciate it very much. If the reading has been helpful for you, please like, share, and subscribe as well. I do wish you the best, Cancer. Have a wonderful reading, the mid-month reading. Thanks. Bye-bye.